Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the ESV SCT, Single Column Text, from R.L. Allen. Okay, so full transparency, when I first started getting into premium Bibles, I ordered one of these, the ESV SCT, thinking that it was a single column reference Bible. But SCT stands for single column text, and it's not a single column reference Bible. Um, as a matter of fact, Allen has the personal reference edition, which is the small, uh, small single column personal reference Bible. They also are making the single column reference, the SCR. There's a new one coming out in 2021. I just recently spoke to Ian, the director of R.L. Allen Bibles, and he confirmed that that, that, that Bible was coming out this year. But um, they recently re-released the SCT, and so I wanted to do a review of it. This is an older copy that I've had for a while, but it's still in like perfect condition because I don't use it a ton. And the reason why I thought it was the single column reference is because it's called the SCT, and a lot of times the Allen uh, names and number systems gets people confused. And, and Allen uses the word reader often to describe like a large two-column reference Bible, the, the NASB reader, the ESV reader, that's the phrase they, they throw out. This is actually a reader, but it's the crossword a ESV Reader's Bible, which is a, a Bible that is a single column Bible that doesn't have verse numbers, doesn't have uh, section headings, that sort of thing. It's kind of like that big six volume ESV Reader's Bible that I've talked about so much on my channel. It's just a single one volume version of that Bible, so it's designed for you to dive in and read and enjoy it. And, and so Crossway makes this, Allen takes their text block, rebinds it in the lovely, beautiful Allen bindings that, that I love so much, and it turns into a really cool, uh, unique Bible. Bible, but it's not a reference Bible with cross references and all that sort of stuff, footnotes, those sort of things. It's a totally, totally different reading experience. And so if, you, if you're interested in that, this is definitely a cool version of that Bible, super high quality. This one's bound by a Ludlow for R.L. Allen in New Zealand goat skin. It looks great. It feels, I mean, just if I can get that to show you the, the, bind, the um, art gilding on the pages there, the binding, this Bible is just absolutely gorgeous. I hope that stuff showed up, but anyway, great Bible. I love it so much. This is the ESV SCT from R.L. Allen. Okay, so here's the Allen box. They all come in these two-piece, uh, if I can get it open, these two-piece blue boxes wrapped in some paper inside there. Really simple. Allen ESV SCT BL. So that means Allen English Standard Version. SCT stands for Single Column Text Edition, and BL is blue Goat skin. I know sometimes all the letters and the numbers on the Allen Bibles confuse people. So this is a really lovely blue. I think they call this a mid-blue. So it's not navy, but it's like a more mid-blue. I really love the look of this. Um, this is a New Zealand goat skin. It's bound by Ludlow. So uh, Allen uses a handful of different binderies. This is a bindery in England. Ludlow, they use New, Ze New Zealand goat skin. Really lovely texture. I love all of the Ludlow bound Bibles. That I have. It looks really sharp. It's got a nice kind of medium yap around the outside. They do a great job with the red under gold art gilding. You have the guild line around the inside. Those lovely blue, kind of more of a navyish color blue in pages, but they really match the color of the Bible. You get three really long light blue ribbons, which really looks great with the color of the Bible. On the side of the spine, you get all these tooled hubs that Allen's known for. Holy Bible, English Standard Version, and Allen very floppy, very soft, looks great. I mean, just that's just a, that's a really, really nice Bible. As far as size goes, you're looking at five and a half inches wide at the text block by seven and three quarter inches tall, and it's right at 1.75, one and three quarter inches thick. So it's a, it's a thick little Bible, a thick little Bible, feels great, looks fantastic on the outside. It's edge lined, it's got a sewn binding, so it's gonna hold up well over time. As far as Allen goes, if you're not super familiar with Allen, they basically, their primary way of doing things is to take text blocks from other publishers, so this is a crossway text block, and they bind them in this like traditional, beautiful, kind of classic style. They have a few different binderies that does that. And if you are a fan, you are a fan and you get it because they are absolutely lovely. So opening it up here, after your end pages, you get your title page, 
Now you see this one, I sometimes Alan does sales. So this one has like a slight little line there. I don't even know if you can see that. It's through the first signature. So the signature are these sewn sections of the page. So once I get in here, that line goes away. But I got a slight discount on this Bible just because um, there was a little bit of a crease in the first signature here. So opening it up. So there you go. The ESV Reader's Edition. That's the name of this Bible. It's the 2016 ESV text. This is a text block that was printed by Crossway. So this is one of Crossway's text blocks printed in China. This is their design. It's the ESV Reader's Edition. Now I mentioned this before. I've talked about the, the six volume reader set that I really love. This is basically the entire Bible with that sort of design, the reader's design, which means that it doesn't have verse numbers, it doesn't have section headings. You get a preface here that's just really good to read on this Bible. So it tells you uh, what the ESV translation is about, and then you go to the introduction, which is the guide to using this Bible. They talk to you about the fact that it doesn't have verse numbers, that it doesn't have uh, section headings, and it's kind of saying this is why we did this. We want you to immerse yourself in the way that the Bible was um, more like when it was written, because it wasn't written with verse numbers and headings. It was written in big, long passages, and the goal with a Bible like this is to help you dig deep and to spend long sections of time in Scripture. So you see right here at the beginning in Genesis this beautiful single column paragraph. It looks, when you open it up, it looks like a novel or a book, and that's kind of the goal behind this, this Bible. Let me open it up here a little bit. Um, let me just get into the beginning of one of these books. Okay, let's find, I think I'm making my way to Ezra. Here we go. So you start at a book right here. You get red accents on the page, so the, the name of the book, the page numbers, start of the book. But you see right here, there's no verse numbers in this book. It's just the paragraph text of the thing. Over here, really small, there's number two. So that's telling you, hey, we just started chapter two. But other than that, look at that. Really, really lovely. I love that. It's just like, hey, don't worry about the verse numbers. You're not studying verse by verse. You're just reading the Bible. I think that's really cool. This is a nine and a half point text. It is on 30 GSM paper. It's line matched. You can see because it fills it up so much, you're not really distracted by what's on the opposite side of the page. Now, we open it up and you see at the top of each page, it wasn't there on the title page, but the top of all the other page, it tells you on this page, you have Ezra 2.7. Through 62. So you know that you're going to have verses 7 through 62 of chapter 2 on this page, but it's not showing you that along the way. So I like that that's there. It's kind of a help to go, okay, where am I at? So if you were reading this, and you're like, man, I want to remember that verse. You can kind of look it up based on where you're at. It has that on every page. But then the only time you get a big break or anything is when you get to a chapter. So there's a line break, and then it says number three, but then you just keep going. So I just imagine sitting down and saying, I want to read the book of Ezra. This is a great way to do that because you just go straight through it, really simple carve out 30 or 45 minutes to read through the book of Ezra, and you can do that. I mean, and it's really simple to do. You're not worried about, read it with Nehemiah, because they're kind of made to go together, right? Just sit down and read these two books of the Bible. I think that's a really cool way to study the Bible, and by taking the verse numbers out, by taking all the cross-references and the footnotes and the section headings out, it's just making the text of the Bible the central thing that you're focusing on, and you can just dig deep, get in here, really enjoy Reading, reading the text of Scripture, and just start at the beginning. Now, on longer books of the Bible, you're going to have to really carve out some time, but that's what people have done for a long time. When they talked about you know, reading, uh, reading the books of the law, they were talking about reading the books of the law, and, and back in the, the days of the New Testament, they didn't have verse numbers and things like that. So poetic setting in the books of poetry, so you see that it does have more of a poetic setting, but you still don't get verse numbers. You just get the headings there. I love the way this looks with the blue and the red art gilding on the pages. If we get into um, the New Testament, you see that it's going to be very consistent throughout. We don't change anything. So here we got to the New Testament. The Gospel of Matthew looks very much the same. So it's going to probably take you, if you wanted to read, depending on which Gospel, Matthew and Luke are probably going to take you two, two and a half hours to read straight through. Um, Mark and John are a little bit shorter. But this is a great, a great Bible to do that with. And then you get all the beautiful Allen binding that goes with it. I love that. Just love it. So um, at the end of the Bible, this reader's edition from ESV, from Crossway, uh, came with a little set of maps. So this is a Crossway maps that came with this edition. Nice kind of thicker cardstock, but not glossy. Those go with this. A couple of blank pages, and then Alan added in their note paper. They're kind of known for this. This is so basically Alan takes this text block from Crossway. They add in their note paper. They bind it together in this beautiful package. And they say, hey, that's an Allen version. 
ESV SCT single column text. The numbers are a little confusing, as I mentioned, because you think single column reference Bible, whatever. The SCT is basically the ESV Reader's Bible bound by, by Allen through Ludlow. Looks fantastic. Very sharp Bible. Again, a great Bible for you to wake up on a Saturday morning and say, I want to read an entire book of the Bible and have a really beautiful, um, beautiful copy of it to do that with. So there you have it, a closer look at the ESV SCT from R.L. Allen. I'd love to know what you think about this, so leave me a comment, let me know. Definitely ask questions if you have, and I'll get back to you. You can see more of this Bible at BibleReviewBlog.com. I'll put some links there to where you can purchase one of these from R.L. Allen. I'll put some great photos there for you to check out. And anything else that I mentioned in this video, I'll put links to where you can check that out. Or also, check out the video description. I've got all of that there for you right here on YouTube. Visit Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a growing community in both of those places, and it's been a really, really fun place lately. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube if you want to see more great Bible content just like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.